So, uh, so now we're going to begin the process of how we do this. What I did was I mixed up a custom mixed color. Starting it up great. Um, I mixed it up, did samples and stuff, and found the, the right color for this, which ended up being this. So I have our color match. Now it's important to keep it stirred because this is a transparent, this is a transparent stain. As cast stone is not very porous, we want it as thin as possible. So this is where we go into our transparent and transparent finishes to just give it the color it needs. Kind of like dyeing, dyeing the stone. It's really good. So I've got this handy little tool by Sureline Handy Painter. Sureline Handy Painter. It's a dollar ninety-seven at Home Depot, but you can buy them online. Bulk for cheaper, or get them with us with our color kits. Now I have some on here. I'm gonna wipe it across. Now I can tell how much product I have on here by if it's being moved around or not, which I should have just enough to do this piece. I start at the top because if I start at the bottom and there's too much on there, it'll just start running. And we want it to at least run from the top down. Now I'm gonna pull this down because there's, <laughs> the color pigment will start losing. So I wanna pull some of this down to make it even. You could use a sponge for this as well. I chose this because that's all we have. And it's got a straight edge. So now I'm pulling it along this base. I can see you know, the, the line drip. And you could go a little heavier on this because we are working in the sun right now, so it's going to dry fast. You have to actually be careful with that. You don't want it drying too fast. So I just keep pulling it around just to keep it, keep that color being uh, moved around and also just even a far look. And that's that, and that will dry then to that.